I promise you, no reasonable person is going to think that you're rude for saying that, and they're not going to think no means never either. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about saying no. Saying no is hard. We do it because we don't want to disappoint the other person, because we don't want to feel guilty. And in role play, sometimes we avoid saying no because we wish we did have time for that additional plot, that additional character, that additional ship. So today we're going to talk about how to assess when you should say no and how you can do it guilt free. Why is saying no a good thing? Saying yes to something is automatically saying no to something else. This is because there's only so much creative space in your brain and there's only so many hours in the day. So until we all have real life time turners and infinite stamina potions, saying yes to something is automatically going to be saying no to something else. And conversely, when we say no to something, we create space to say yes to something else. And you don't want to miss those amazing roleplay opportunities when they come your way because the creative space in your brain is being used on something that you're not fully invested in. And you probably know this, and anyone that does any kind of creative pursuit can tell you this as well, but trying to do something that you're not fully invested in drains that creative energy way faster than doing something that you are fully invested in. For example, it's way easier to write a reply when it's a plot that you're really excited about or with a partner that you really like. And conversely, it's sometimes hard to write that reply when you're kind of like meh about the plot that you're doing or you're not that into the partner that you're writing with. However, still, saying no is hard for a variety of reasons. You may think saying no to someone is going to disappoint them or hurt their feelings. You might think, if I say no, I'm going to be judged or criticized. People are going to think I'm too picky or elitist. Maybe you think, if I say no, I'm going to miss out on this potentially awesome roleplay. What if it's my favorite ship ever? And all of these thoughts going through our head come from a kind and generous place, but they can also lead to us being more passive and less assertive. And we've talked about that in a previous video. I'll make sure that that's linked up in the card. And these thoughts can ultimately lead us to saying yes to things where there's more value in saying no. So if there's sometimes value in saying no, when do we say it? So whenever you get an offer for role play, or you're working on joining a group, or you're thinking of posting an ad to get more one-on-one -on -one role play, these are the things that you need to consider. And it all comes back to, like so many things in life and so many things that we've talked about on this channel, your own self-awareness. Ask yourself, how much interest do I have in this and is that amount of interest enough? How much time do I have for this and is that amount of time enough? And these are questions that no one can answer for you. Only you know how much interest and how much time you have in something. And I talked a lot more about this in my one-on-one uh, -on -one role play rules video and also in my finding a right group for you video. So I'm gonna link both of those up in the cards. So you can check those out and um, just go for whichever one you're looking for more groups or one-on-one. -on -one. It's gonna talk more about that. So we've talked about why you might want to say no and also when you might want to say no, but let's next talk about how you can say no. For those of you that have heard this kind of information in like a professional setting, this isn't going to be anything new for you. This is the type of stuff that I've taught at jobs before and you're going to see it all over job training, like new hire training and things like that. So there are two main things that you need to do. Be nice and be concise. And let's talk first about being nice. This comes into play most often when someone has approached you with a request. So someone messages you and asks for role play, or they say, hey, you should join this group or something of that nature. Always begin by thanking the person for their consideration. Phrases like, thank you for thinking of me, or thank you for checking out my ad, or things like that are great ways to start. The person that approached you might have been super nervous to approach you, and even if they weren't, they took time out of their day to message you, and we always want to be respectful of others' time and grateful that they took that time. So we say thank you for that. So if this is something where you started it, like you approached the person, but now you've realized you need to bow out, how do we be nice about that? First is to be honest about what happened. Now don't go crazy here, we're going to talk about this a little bit more in the be concise part. But for now, phrases like, 
sorry I dropped the ball, thank you for doing this with me, or thank you for your time. These are all appropriate depending on the situation. So go into telling someone no with a kind attitude and kind words. Next, we want to make sure that we're concise with our no. No one needs a huge explanation of how you have a job or school or kids or a billion other role plays or whatever the reason is that you need to say no. No one cares about that stuff. All that extra explanation does is make the other person have to say, okay, it's okay, no worries, blah, 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 whatever. Basically, it puts the other person in a position where they have to respond to your no in that certain way. So instead, keep it short. Along with our kindness, we can say something like, thank you so much for considering me, but I'm not accepting any other role plays right now. Done. I promise you, no reasonable person is going to think that you're rude for saying that, and they're not going to think no means never either. Now, let's say your situation is more like you're looking for additional role plays, but not with that person for one reason or another. So in that situation, instead, we can say something like, thank you so much for considering me, but I'm not really looking for that kind of role play right now. You don't need to define kind of role play. You don't need to tell them exactly what they did to make you say no. You don't need to put any sort of blame on them, even if you do feel like they're the reason you're saying no. Just because what they're doing that made them not right for you doesn't mean that that's not right for everyone. And remember, with this sort of no, if they ask for follow-up, you don't have to give it. If they ask what you are looking for, you can say something like, I'm so sorry, just not into it right now. You already told them what's up, and I promise you a reasonable person will take the hint. And if it becomes unreasonable, just like we've talked about before, remember, you curate your online experience. You gave them the information kindly and concisely. That's all you need to do. And if you do this, you will be amazed how the majority of people just say thank you and they move on. Now, with this advice so far, I've been admittedly talking about mostly strangers and acquaintances. But what about when you're talking to somebody that you've been role-playing with for a few years or you're super close with? Well then, a closer relationship means a little more explanation is going to be better. If the reason you're saying no is because you've been super stressed out at school, tell them school's been crazy. If the reason you're telling them no is because you're uncomfortable with the role play, tell them you're uncomfortable. You still don't have to go on and on, but another couple of sentences is appropriate for somebody that you're close with and that you care about. And besides, if you really are close with this person, you know where that line is. So those are my tips with saying no. If you struggle with saying no, let me know down below if these tips helped you out. If you try them next time, I'm really curious, so let me know how it goes.